How's it going, writer? I'm good. How are you? Fantastic. We're doing excellent. We're, uh, we're, I guess we're at the tail end of the TechFluence show now. Yeah, um, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So how, how was your experience with it? It was good. It was fun. You know, it was funny. I was, I was talking to um, someone on my team about, uh, oh, we need to like do these operations and stuff. And we didn't because no one was in our hangout. So we were like, oh, well, no one's following. <laughs> oh, there you are. I think, yeah, you, you broke out for a second. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So you're saying just because you weren't able to see them, they were they were still there, though. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> yeah, with some of these different platforms, sometimes it does stuff like that. I know with like StreamYard, um, this is just uh, the recording. Um, sometimes we've gone live on YouTube and we could see everybody. Sometimes, depending if we're like, oh, this is going to be like a members only. It, it shows like nobody's there. And we're just like, um, if you could hit the thumbs up, because that tells us how many people are here. <laughs> right. So it's great. So I'm 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 very excited to see uh like I was just looking at your guys' website, um mobvoid.com. Um so yeah, I guess what do you what, what did you guys bring today to Techfluence to show off? So we brought the Mobvoid earbuds gesture. Um they were launching on Indiegogo in October. However, we are launching them on our website, mobvoid.com, as well as Amazon.com. Uh, they're very interesting in the sense that you can use uh, head gestures to con to accept or reject incoming calls. So I don't have a pair on me because I'm waiting for my units to ship to my house. Uh, mm -hmm. so I can then distribute them to media. But basically, they're uh, sort of a, a shiny black, uh, silicone tipped. Uh, you can nod your head twice to pick up a call, shake your head twice to refuse a call. <laughs> Additionally, our wake up board, like, you know, for example, Apple uses um, uh, Hey Siri or okay, uh, Google uses OK Google. We have our own proprietary wake up word that works with pretty much every single um, AI assistant on your phone. So you could just say, hey, Tico, and it'll wake up the AI assistant on either your um, Android or your iPhone or, or anything in between. Additionally, awesome. you, can, you can swipe up and swipe down to control the volume. That's super cool. That is super cool. Uh, I, I don't think I've seen that yet. You could nod <laughs> to pick up. Right. You should do one for a circle. If you make a circle, <laughs> clockwise, go forward, counterclockwise, go backwards. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's a really interesting technology. And... Um, we actually launched it on the uh, TickPods 2 and the TickPods 2 Pro last year at CES. And so this is sort of a, 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 a bit of an updated one. Um, it's got a much bigger battery than the, uh, the ones we launched last year. And it's really interesting to see. Nice. What is the, uh, what is the, 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 the battery life? 50 hours with the case, like mm -hmm. five charges, and then 10 hours playback. Cool. Okay. Cool. That's actually really cool. good. A lot of times the uh, the headphones usually go for about five to seven hours, seven hours, like really stretching it. So I haven't really personally tested anything with 10 hours of battery life on a single charge. That's really cool. Well, let me know if you want a review unit. <laughs> yeah, hey, for sure. I know. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I, yeah, he, I was, <laughs> so I'm going to, I don't know if you could see the private chat. It has uh, both of our emails. <laughs> Uh, so mine's Rojas Entertainment. His is Mark Abbas, uh, both at Gmails. Um, I was trying to sign up on the TechFluence page before it shut down. But then after it shut down, I was like, man, it was too late for me to, to sign up. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> my team will be in contact with you, I'm sure. Awesome. We've been having so much fun behind the scenes with everybody. We've been in this um, recording session for three and a half hours right now. So it was a little bit difficult to jump back and forth between the actual conference booths and um, be, being behind the scenes with the actual companies themselves. So um, it, it's really cool. I haven't actually heard of uh, Mobvoi. Where are you guys located? Uh, so we were located, we are located in Beijing, China. We also have offices um, in Shenzhen and Wuhan um, and Suzhou, I believe. Um, so we are primarily based in China. However, I'm based in the US, though I used to be based in Beijing. Um, and yeah, and we have awesome. some people all over. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Uh, now, did you guys bring any of the of the of the phones? The, the, I'm sorry, the phones, the, the watches? 
I have one. I am wearing the TicWatch Pro 3. It just ran out of battery. Uh, but the TicWatch Pro 3 is the first uh, Wear OS watch with the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 4100 platform. So it's the newest platform. Um, very, It's a very impressive platform, and we're really excited uh, that we were the first one. Yeah, so some some I, I was checking it out, too. I was just like, oh, this would be really cool to to really see. I'm always in the market for for the smartwatches just because like there's just so many cool things that you can do with them. Um, do they connect to a specific do you have like do they have like their specific apps? Can they be connected to any of the, like the Alexa, the Google Assist, any of those devices? Uh, Google Assistant, yes. So it uses Wear OS, which is a Google smartwatch platform. Uh, in addition to that, we also have a bunch of proprietary apps that uh, can do anything from tracking uh, your fitness, um, tracking your blood oxygen, uh, stress, breathing, stuff like that. That's cool. That's can you super tell me neat. a little bit about the difference between the smart mode and the essential mode? Uh, so smart mode is, you know, as you would sort of expect, um, it has up to three days of battery life. Um, and then the essential mode is a little bit more uh, slimmed down. So you're only really able to see um, the essentials as you would expect. Uh, and that actually, I, we're the only ones in the market that are doing this right now. Uh, Switching between the, the two actually saves a lot, saves battery, which is why we're able to claim our watch lasts up to 45 days. Wow. Dang. Yeah, that's super cool. Super, super cool. And so, it's very it's very readable in, in direct sunlight, too. That's awesome. Yeah. So I if you have any watches also, yeah. I'd be gladly to, <laughs> to review them. Um, yeah. So you, you have our information. I don't, but I will get it. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so it'll be there in the private chat. Um, and then uh, we're going to make sure for anybody out there listening or watching, um, we will have uh, we'll have all this information in the description below. Uh, mobvoi.com, M-O-B-V-O-I.com. Um, and yeah, is there any, any last things that you want to say before we let you go? Uh, no, I really enjoyed uh, TechFluence. I really enjoyed meeting you guys. It was really cool. Awesome. awesome. Thank you. Hopefully we get to talk again in the future and uh, keep in touch for sure. Absolutely. Have a nice day. Thanks, man. Take care. Take care. Bye.